What's happening guys? So, doing a little bit of an update for you. So, got a little bit of bad news. Um, went down last week to London um, to see my good friend Dr. Suresh um, and he gave me a scan on my bicep tendon. So, basically since world's, uh, world's and actually since Europe's strongest man, my tendon here in the middle of my, my arm hasn't been feeling so good. Um, I kind of just thought it was inflamed and it'll just pass by and you know, taking anti-inflammatories anti and such like. Um, but it just wasn't getting any better after Worlds. So I was like, right, I don't know. I've never felt this pain before. Um, so fortunately for me, I've never actually had a, a kind of tear, um, a severe tear. So went down to uh, see Dr. Suresh in London. Uh, last Wednesday, I think it was, and he scanned it, and it turned out that the bicep tendon is torn. It's not fully detached, um, which is which is good news. But I'm going to have to take some time off, or some time to rehab the the bicep tendon, which is um, a bit unfortunate. So that's kind of why, at World Strongest Man, I felt a lot of pain um, initially when we're down familiarisation. Uh, picking up the sandbags and doing the car because the car walk in worlds is so narrow it just put a lot of pressure on my my tendon my bicep and i could just feel something that wasn't quite right <laughs> that's like a, that's a the, dull pain yeah that's the dull pain yeah that's so <laughs> funny <laughs> let, let, let's have a look here so you're like fully extended and turning ah yeah that's it oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a frame I had to pick up and there was no, I couldn't really grip on this hand properly. So this hand is normally the strong, yeah. dominant one for my grip, but it just kept opening. Your right hand dominant. Yeah, yeah. And what uh, the surgeon said is that's the, so you can imagine your tendons like this and there's, there's a, he said it was like a three to five centimeter hole in my tendon. So the tendon's still intact, but in the middle here somewhere, there's a big hole, big chunk missing. Um, and he said that's that was probably probably started in Europe's maybe after the I don't know if it was even the the stone carry um, something kind of didn't feel quite right as you as the stones turn in your hand sometimes it puts a bit of pressure in your bicep and then in the atlas stones um, it just afterwards if something felt a little bit off um, and yeah just been having kind of pins and needles and stuff in my hand which is um, not the best you know so grip wise it's not been that great um obviously at the time i thought it was just a bit of inflammation got some physio the physio guys were fantastic out there at world's strongest man um but if something's torn and it just progressively gets worse after every event so what the the surgeon and doctor said is that if i keep loading my bicep tendon and loading the bicep that will get a, a full rupture um basically imminently, that's what he said. So if I went back and tried to train stones, blah, 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 then it's going to come off and I'll have to get operated. So fortunately, there's no operation required. It is just rest. So he says it takes up to 12 weeks, but with the protocols that I've got in place, I'll go and get some PRP, um, there's peptides and stuff that we can use to really uh, help the, the tendon grow or to recover. Um, spoke to Nathan uh, Payton, the nutritionist. So he's given me some additional things to take extra collagen to include in the, the supplement use so that helps kind of rebuild the, the tendon trying to get as much sleep as i can as well um you know hyperbaric chamber hot and cold do all the recovery things that we, we always do um spoke to shane my coach and he's kind of programmed me some really good rehab stuff i can still train so i can still do stuff that doesn't load the bicep so um, I can still deadlift, I can work in squats and probably be safety bar squats depending on how my bicep feels. Um, I can do overhead press stuff which is good but this next kind of four to six weeks, I think it's going to take about six weeks to, to recover fully from this. So I want to be fully recovered before I go into um, events training again so unfortunately that means I'm going to have to miss the Albert Hall um, Strongman Classic which is pretty gutting because it's such a good venue to compete in. Big Tommy's still going to be down there competing, but um, I won't be able to go. Um, I spoke to Darren from Giants Live, um, he completely understands. I just messaged Brian as well regarding the Shaw Classic. 
I'm uh, just telling them that I have this tendon issue at the moment, but I um, think it's going to be okay. Um, obviously, the Shaw Classic, or the, the strongest man on earth, is, is a really heavy show this year, and I've got to kind of test the tendon um, after it's fully recovered, which, you know, speaking to my coach, he says it should be fine because of all the work we've done um, and events for, for us as a professional strongmen, whatever, you know, we can get back into the swing of the events quite quickly. But in the meantime, it's going to be doing a lot of like isometric holds in my hand to try and get the blood flow through um, uh, and try and recover as best as I can. So it is unfortunate. I'm just happy that, um, you know, I was really worried going into the Max Axel out of Worlds because I could feel something wasn't quite right and it was starting to like quiver a wee bit. And I was like, well, it's not, it's not the normal feeling when I get like tendonitis or whatever. So... Um, I'm just really happy that the, the tendon held up um, and it didn't come off because that would be really, uh, it's a really tough one for me to take mentally, I think. But um, I feel good in terms of being able to still, still train. I can really squat heavy and still deadlift. I can still do overhead press. So Shane's programmed me for the next, I think, four to six weeks um, with a new phase. So we've got this new phase of training. It's going to be more gym-based um Training, so log out of the rack, axle out of the rack, um, no cleans in the log, no cleans in the axle, obviously that's really bicep heavy, um, no sandbags, no stones, no no event stuff, just to really recover as best I can um, and then make sure I'm coming back as fit as I can be because um, we've still got a lot of competitions this year to do, um, we've got yeah, Shaw Classic, Glasgow, Vegas, um, hopefully Rogue Invitational, um, so we still have got quite a few comps this year to do that I want to make sure that I'm fully fit for. So I think my body will probably thank me for taking this next six weeks, more gym style training, um, you know, doing heavy yoke all the time, doing sandbag runs, doing stones, um, doing log cleans, axle cleans, really does take it out of your body. Um, and obviously Tom and I, there's a, a big age difference, I'm 10 years older and the recovery for me is a lot longer I would say than Tom but again we're very fortunate to have a hyperbaric chamber here, the hot and cold tubs um, from the ice bath, you know all these cool and amazing things for recovery so um, and you know I've just ordered up some blood flow restriction cuffs for my arms so again that'll really help with the recovery you know promote new, a big push of new blood into those tendons and really get them fired up and, and kind of back to being bulletproof as much as we can in terms of of my age and everything. So I want them to be 100% before I get back to training. And that's what we intend to do. So that is a little update for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just want to tell you guys first, spoke to the competition guys. They're aware. Hopefully some other guy will get a chance to compete in the, the classic now. They've still got, you know, in reality, they've still got the same amount of time I would have to train for the, the classic. So um, I'm not pulling out a week before the show. I wouldn't want to do that. So. Um, best of luck whoever gets the, the spot I'm sure it's going to be an awesome show um, and yeah that's it, Big Tommy's looking fantastic we're back training, we've got a little thing on in Glasgow today um, we're down at the Pride of Scotland I think it is, Sc Pride of Scotland award ceremony um, we've been asked to hand out an award which is really cool so we're going to do that and then it's back to training 100% diet's back on, um, recovery's back on and we just go and try and mop up as many titles as we can this year. So that is the update. Thank you so so much for watching. Thank you for the support as always, guys. Um, as always, please smile, please stay safe, and please stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding